I'm so excited. Livernoy Avenue here in Detroit is such an incredible place. So many locally owned businesses. So I'm excited to be here this morning. But right now, I'm excited to be here with Darvell on the Juneteenth Jubilee Committee. And we are in a, a very special place. This is going to become a marketplace in a few hours. Right now, it is the place that holds all the goodie bags. Yes, and you've got a lot of them. Yes, we do. We have a ton of goodie bags for our VIP guests here in black. And then we have all the general admission bags, both filled with things that are going to be important for people going forward. I, I love it and it looks like you've got a lot of people donating so th this is one of the look at that beautiful leather journal in, in the goodie bags so yes. you've got and this is encouraging people to come out early right? Y yes it's encouraging people to come out early and also to support the cause because this is our third year in this event and it's changed over the years but we continue to provide education and resources for education in the black history and to promote Juneteenth so Getting these are to incentivize people to come out, learn about our history, learn about the black businesses and support the community. So for people watching who may not, perhaps this is the very first, as you know, federal holiday yes. at the Juneteenth. And there may be some people watching who aren't as familiar with what it is. Can you just, just in a sentence or two, briefly share what it means to you? So Juneteenth means to me not only the commemoration of the last actual advising of the ending of slavery to the slaves who are in Galveston, Texas, but also it's a remembrance of what we've been through, where we need to go going forward, and to keep steadfast in our memories of our ancestors and to make sure that we promote what we can do for ourselves and how we are valuable to the community every year. And it's also a real, really wonderful opportunity for all of us to be able to, to celebrate incredible, our incredible neighbors and our friends. And, yes. uh, and you've got, like you said, some black businesses that are yeah. represented in these gift bags and so many on the street. Oh, yeah. That's well over 45 businesses participating in today's activity. We're going a whole one mile stretch of the historic avenue of fashion. This is a big place to be. Many people don't know about the different businesses. So when they come out, they're going to see this great map. They're going to get this map and it's going to show them everything that they can be involved in. And on the back of this map is actually a schedule of events that they can actually get oh. in on too. So there's a lot going on and this is just one of the stops. Just one of the stops. In fact, we're going to take you out the door. And again, this room is going to be filled with uh, a lot of local vendors. This is going to be a marketplace and that'll be at noon, you said, yes. right? So, but we're going to take you outside these doors and we're going to look to the left because uh, this is, again, just the beginning of this setup. This is an incredible new podcast studio today. They brought their podcast outside and they will be broadcasting all day long, which is uh, really exciting. So many exciting things. If it's been a little while since you've been here, here on Liver Livernoy. I think yes. you're going to see a lot of new businesses and Juneteenth Jubilee, the stroll, a wonderful opportunity to be outside and celebrate everything happening uh, going on here on Livernoy and the new federal holiday itself. Jen, back to you.